Hi everyone, welcome to week 12 of the Engineering at Home Challenges. This week we're going to be looking at wind power. So we're going to create something out of recycled materials that's going to harness the energy of the wind and use that energy to lift a weight upwards. Now to test your design you can use a fan or a hairdryer and I'll demonstrate mine working with a hairdryer now. So today's challenge is going to consist of two parts. As always, you can use recycled materials for these. First is to create a lift that's going to raise up a carriage. And the second is to create a wind turbine that's going to spin and raise that carriage for you. So as the wind turbine spins, it's going to turn an axle, which is going to raise your carriage. But in real life, a wind turbine would spin on an axle, which would cause a generator to spin, which would generate electricity. If you're interested to know more about how that works, have a look in the links in our handout. So for this challenge, you're going to need a large box. You could use a shoe box or a cereal box, some corrugated card, a milk bottle top, some string and some bamboo skewers, some blue tack and some sellotape and a pair of scissors. As with all of our engineering at home challenges, make sure you have adult supervision. To start, take your cardboard box and we're going to cut out the front panel. So dismantle the box and cut out the front side. Now scissors work just fine for this, but I'm going to use a craft knife. Make sure if you do use a craft knife, you have adult permission and supervision. Then we want to tape our box back together, but make sure to leave the top sealing tab loose as you're gonna need this later. Then take the spare cardboard to make your carriage. This needs to fit inside of your large box so you can measure it to make sure it will fit. Make sure to leave a small margin on all of the sides as this is going to make the walls. Then bend the walls up and you'll want to make a small cut at each corner so the walls can easily bend up and meet each other. Now before you stick this in place, measure exactly halfway down each of the short walls and make a mark here. You can then use a hole punch or scissors to make a small hole at this point. And now you can stick your carriage together, but make sure not to cover the holes. Next, we want to take our large box and cut out two pieces of string. These need to be as long as the box, but with plenty of extra on either side. And you're going to want two exactly the same length. Then you can tie the strings to your carriage by threading it through the small holes on either side and tying a knot in the end to secure it in place. Then we want to take our large box and on the top ceiling tab we want to place our carriage. Make a small mark where the string sits as this is where the string is going to come through at the top. And then cut a small window where those marks are. Now you can see on my box, the two loose tabs cover those windows. So I'm just gonna cut those off and we can stick our box back together. Then we want to stick a straw to the top. Now trim this so it fits in between those two windows. This is where your bamboo skewer is gonna sit as the axle of your wind turbine. But you might notice it can't spin freely without hitting the box. So we want to raise it up slightly. Then take some spare cardboard that's slightly shorter than your straw and cut out lots of narrow strips. These don't have to be neat or identical. You can then stack them on top of each other and this will act as a platform for your straw to sit on. So stick these together and then we can stick it to the top of the box in between the two windows. Now when you put the bamboo skewer through, you should find it spins nicely without hitting the top of the box. This will also leave space for the string to wind around. Then we can take our carriage and place it at the bottom of our large box. Thread the string up through the top windows to meet the skewer. Make sure the skewer has its sharp end sticking out as far as possible in front of your box. This leaves space for your wind turbine to go. Then you can tie the strings to the skewer. Tie it as tightly as possible and you can secure it in place with tape if you need. 
Then as you wind the skewer, your carrot should move up. You can see mine's a little bit wonky, but you can improve upon that in your design. Then we can trim the string to neaten this up. Now we're going to make the wind turbine. You'll need the milk bottle lid, some more skewers and some corrugated card. Make sure you're using corrugated card instead of regular card. We're going to cut our wind turbine blades out of the corrugated cardboard. We want these to be completely identical, so use a ruler to make sure they're all the same size. Make sure the lines of the corrugated card go along the length of your blade so you can push the skewer in to attach them. Now the milk bottle lid is going to act as the hub for your wind turbine. So lay the skewers around this. You might find that they're too long, so if you attach one blade and lay this out, you can see how short you're gonna want them to be. And make sure they're all the same length. If you can't cut through the skewers directly, you can dent them first with scissors and then they'll snap easily. Then when we lay these out, you can see they're all a good length. Next, we want to use a paper clip to make a small hole in the middle of the lid. This means we can attach it to the axle of our lift. Then we can attach the blades to all the skewers. Try and get the skewers exactly in the middle of the blades and make them all the same length. So you should have four identical blades. Then we want to make a small slot in the milk bottle lid and this is where the skewers are going to go through. Then you should see the skewers fitting quite nicely. Cut a slot for each one of your blades. However many blades you have, make sure they're symmetrically spread around the lid so your wind turbine is going to be balanced. To secure the blades in place, we want to fill the lid with blue tack. Then you can push the skewer into the lid through the slot into the blue tack and this should hold them in place nicely. Once your wind turbine hub is finished, you can attach this to the top axle and you should have a finished wind powered lift. The angle of your blades is going to make a huge difference, so experiment with some different angles. So challenge yourself, see if you can get it to spin as quickly as possible, as slow as possible, or raise as much weight as possible. If you are interested in learning any more about wind energy and renewable energy sources and how they generate electricity, have a look in the handout at the links available in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Please let us know how you get on on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We'd love to see your designs. And don't forget to tune in next week.